Hello, traders. This is Rich from TradeSite. Here's a look at our market-leading ETFs for the coming week. This is going to be for the week of April 20th, 2015. We had a pretty uh, pretty aggressive down day here uh, to finish up the week. And what it's doing is putting us, uh, putting us off with some pretty uh, good sell signals. As you can see, most of the majors uh, have, uh, have downside CPS signals. The only one that was absent with diamonds. We do have volume bumps on most of them. But keep in mind, a lot of that is going to be expiration uh, related. We're, we always get a little bit of a bump, even for the in-between expirations like we have today. It wasn't a quarterly expiration, just a monthly. But, uh, but nonetheless, uh, we do have downside signals here. Moving on to the uh, individual domestic sectors. Uh, definitely uh, lined up here to the sell side. Uh, the KRE, the regional banks, has a downside CPS. SMAT, the SMASH, the SMH, which uh, tracks the semiconductors as a downside signal, and there's a couple others as well. Um, a lot of these volume bumps are going to be organic, uh, but some of them will be expiration-related. OIH, uh, which tracks the, um, the oil, oil drilling stocks, was, uh, was definitely uh, you know, in motion this week. A lot of uh, a big movement today in uh, a number of the oil drillers. We're on, on the longer side uh, for most of the week, and today we took a shot at Schlumberger short as they uh, – had the 200-period uh, moving average with it, and sort of roll back to the downside. Moving on to the, uh, to the commodities, uh, no signals here. The DBA, which is a broad basket of the agriculturals, was um, the one that was a big volume leader. But for the most part, not a lot going on. The TLTs were kind of quiet all morning and then started climbing in the afternoon, finishing more than 1% above the day's open. You can see a bit of a volume bump there. So... Definitely keep an eye on that. They really start to uh, leave the range that they've been trading in. That could be evidence of some real risk off. For now, it's probably more just a, just a reshuffling than anything else until it proves itself. You know, one day does not make a trend. As far as the uh, foreign stuff goes, we've got a lot of contract candles here where we uh, gap down very, very significantly. Most of the overseas stuff was trading very, very weakly even before we opened. So we kind of worked out some contract candles here on the buy side. But... Uh, but definitely nothing, nothing um, uh, that we'll get too excited about yet until we see some evidence of, of a better turn. The Russian uh, RSX traded a lot of volume and put up a CPS to the downside of ruble. Uh, got smashed today after gaining the $50 level versus the dollar, and it's now starting to pivot. So keep an eye on that for next week. As far as the specials go, we don't have that that total um, uh, uh, smashing here today. But we are pretty well stacked up to the sell side. Look at the volume here. We're seeing, definitely seeing some evidence of some people taking out some insurance. This is something that we're always on board for. These specials or these leverage and a lot of the, uh, the uh, equity only portfolios can actually use these and they will use these uh, to hedge their uh, positions to different degrees. So what we're seeing here is we've got CPSs to the downside on the, uh, on the longs and on the shorts, we're actually seeing RPSs to the downside, which is a, uh, reversal. So the, the shorts uh, are also indicated lower. So this is uh, pretty well stacked up here for, uh, for the coming week. All right, folks, and here's a look at the, uh, here's a look at the uh, watch list with our bar counts. Uh, it's nothing out sticking out there in the uh, spiders. Diamonds are the cues as far as the exhaustion runs go, but we're, uh, we're definitely getting there on the, uh, on the startup phase. And these are going to, these are probably going to lock in tonight uh, for next for next week with some uh, with uh, with that nine bars up, so we're nine bars up in the uh, ES futures, and we're gonna be nine bars up in the spiders and the and the, uh, and the diamonds as well. As far as the uh, individual um, sectors, the uh, IBB is the one to watch. That one is starting to roll over. We've got that thirteen exhaustion already in place on the uh, on the aggressive seeker, and we're just uh, we're, you know in process of locking in the exhaustions for the Comer. Uh, and also the standard seeker, so that's that's really important because you know Apple's kind of been treading water here in the uh, in the BTK's really been doing a lot to hold up the uh, the overall Nasdaq. So if they start to go, I think we're going to wind up with some uh, some sloppy trade next week. So be ready for that. All right, folks. As always, thanks for listening. This has been Rich for TradeSite.